For the first time in the history of the Patriotic Festival, the event was held on Memorial Day weekend and also in Norfolk. Not to mention it's the first time Waterside Drive has been used for a concert slash street festival. So as the festival wraps up, 10 on your side's Brett Hall tells us, as expected, there were some growing pains. Country music superstar Morgan Wallen taking the stage tonight way down Waterside Drive from where we are. We weren't able to record any of it and show it to you, but a lot of people showed up to see it. 12,000 people selling out in six minutes, and they're hoping that this comes back to Norfolk, maybe with a few changes. It's a show country music lovers have been waiting three years and some in line nine hours to see. <laughs> Morgan Wallen's show sold out in less than six minutes, leaving Chesapeake's Tim Spang even more thankful he was able to find a ticket recently. Well, yeah, I got very lucky. Can I ask how much you paid? Uh, about $600. <laughs> Certainly not everyone's definition of luck, but he says after seeing Wallen before... I'm, not, yeah, I'm trying to get as close as possible, you know? It's uh, going to be a good concert. So. Again, he was far from alone. As the opener took the stage, Andy Stevenson with the Patriotic Festival says the team at Whisper Concerts was triple checking the sound at the street venue. After concerns the previous night... We knew the sound probably wasn't the best that we had last night, so what we did was add our, added a couple more stacks of uh, speakers to make sure that everybody has a great listening experience. We've also heard some concerns about the number of obstructions in the way if you happen to buy a ticket in the back. Stevenson says following the festival, they will only be looking to make things better. I spoke tonight with Vice Mayor Martin Thomas, who says he was extremely impressed with the organization of this event, especially considering this is a first-time venue. I also spoke with uh, hotel developer Bruce Thompson, owner of The Main. He says it was one of the largest events he's ever had as a hotel owner down here, and he says it's certainly something he looks forward to returning. We're in downtown Norfolk. Brett Hall, 10 on your side.